Hello, Agape Chaplain Elliot here. I want to encourage you from Isaiah chapter 49, verses 14 through 16. When you don't get it. Have you ever tried to comfort someone after a breakup and they say, well, they say they love me, but yet we broke up. I don't get it. I don't get it. It's colloquialism for I don't understand. So what do you do when you don't understand? Well, first of all, you want to give room in your theology of discomfort or, or, or this, this discouragement to God, the sovereign God that knows how to restore you. You know, if God has you hemmed in, it's because he loves you. He's trying to get you back into a right relationship with, you, with him. As with Israel, you know, Israel should have said from Isaiah 54, 6, those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved but abides forever. But what Israel said was, I don't get it. God has left me. My master has forgotten I even exist. You know, God is sovereign. Even when we don't see him, he's at work. He's always working. Even we don't feel love or we don't act very lovable. God so loved us that he sent his very best. You know, the, the good shepherd wants to encourage you that he got you. As the psalmist said, even though you walk through the valleys and the shadows of death, I'm with you. I got you. And then don't go compare the creation with the creator. You know, God, can't, God, God, is, God, this stuff, God loves you so much that this suffering servant came. Now, can a mother forget a baby or, or her, uh, at her breast or have no compassion on the son she is born? No, God says, though she may forget, I will never leave you. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. I don't deserve it. I didn't even earn it. But God so loved me with that reckless love of God. God bless you.